back up. Okay, so there's a, there was a chap called Charles Butler who published a book in 1609 about... He was the first one to publish the fact that the head being was a queen because up until then they thought it was male. Yes. It, he didn't especially discover that. But, so then the, it comes from, the book was called A Female Male Monarchy or a Treatise Concerning Bees and the Due Ordering of Them Wherein the Truth Found Out by Experience and Diligent Observation. Beautiful. So the, it was, the, I loved the Diligent Observation. Yeah, you just really had to learn really, really quickly to you get started with no the project. Idea. So that as soon as I started, it was a bit like, <laughs> oh, I've said I'll do sultry bees, bumblebees and honeybees all in the same time and not only are they big subjects but often the kind of could potentially be completely different yeah but i think that that was some of it isn't that i think everybody just puts bees together they're all bees yeah yeah if it buzzes and it's stripy yeah but i mean even honeybees lots of people are like oh i didn't know one looked like that yeah because it's kind of unbee like yeah because we imagine a big fluffy bumblebee yeah so kind of maybe i was reflecting what everybody thinks anyway I took masses of pressings, yes. but these are the only ones that I could fit in here. Yeah. So, then, but I've, so I've tried to represent all the months, so then it starts with crocus and through the spring crack plants. Uh, and then this was about solitary bees in particular and the complications of me being a beginner and how complicated it was to identify them. And then we went through this really complicated key, which is what all the uh, writing is. and. It, I mean, it's asking you questions to go from one part of the key to the next, which I didn't know, even know what half the words are. Because it's referring to parts of the anatomy that I didn't even know how they were named. So these are all honeybees. These are workers. That's the third queen. And these are drones. Oh, it's a bit quite really actually. Yeah, just be amazed at their beauty. And maybe make you look closer. Hopefully. If you're nearby, yeah, they will be. I'm about three miles actually. Just See, we're right on the end. Yeah. Of, yeah. Well, I don't know where else they come from. But, else, uh, but more and more people that know about it do then admit slyly, oh yes, actually I collect bees and matchboxes and things like that. And I think it is our sympathy for, I don't know, like, oh, it's dead, but also a bee. Or an insect potentially doesn't then rot, it's not then gonna, nothing happens to it almost. Uh, so then I think it's because it's still then beautiful. I spent hours in front of the beehive, the honey beehives, and uh, with my digital recorder. Yeah. And I noticed every time I went they were different. Like they were either, if it's first thing in the morning they were quieter, not many of them. If it was really hot and they were right in the middle of the day, they were more angry, I think. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> what did you think? And people did pick out different things. They pick, everybody picked out different things. Yeah. That cool. yeah. As you see on the first map, there's only Bombus terrestris. Yeah. So you begin to see a few of them and you think, right, yeah, great, I can understand the stripe system to be able to ID it next time. But then more and more bumblebees keep coming out. Um, yeah, and then just, it's like, some of them are incredibly similar, and then some of them are variable, and then some of them fade in the summer, so then actually it becomes more and more complicated. So you do, my past projects have always been about nature and the landscape, yeah. and kind of human effects on nature and landscape. Uh, I think this one has continued on that, so then everything that I've done in the past has fed into this, and I think that everything combined will go on to the next project. Uh, I think I'll definitely be completely mad on bees forever now. Excellent. It, like, so often, because like, just when I was talking, then I could see a bee like just bobbing about. And it, Are you I trying to work out what it is? Yeah, and I can't go on a walk anywhere now without it taking twice as long, because I'll be walking and then it's like, oh, there's a bee there, and I'm off. It's been the best project I've ever worked on. I do always say that about the project I've just worked yeah. on, though, but yeah. I, I have to say that uh, that about this one by a, by a country mile. Do you know what I mean? I was here for a year. How great is that? And are you are you now a diligent observer? You see, now that's what's a bit embarrassing. Is I would everybody presumes it's of me, and I am. But yeah, uh, do, if you noticed, I I cut out the uh, of experience and diligent ex yeah. uh, observation. I was like, I'll, I'll say yes to diligent observation, but it's not through experience no. yet. But the no as an artist. Absolutely. Yeah. You'll now yeah, yeah. go away from this. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah and take that with me of... yeah and look at everything in just so much more detail and um, yeah definitely take that away yeah of a garden bumblebee because it's got two stripes on the top part of the body and two on the bottom. Whereas and there's another there. That one's a common cardabee because it's all orange. 